Now to a computer glitch that's angered some Air Canada customers big time. CTV's Penny Daflos has been tracking this story and joins us live tonight. Penny, uh, this sounds like a deal that was just simply too good to be true. Well, sort of. Air Canada admits it messed up when it priced a bundle of flight passes way before normal. But it's how the airline is handling that mistake that has customers livid. Imagine hopping aboard an Air Canada flight, slipping into a business class seat and jetting to California for less than 90 bucks. They popped up on my Facebook wall at about 5.30 p.m. That's exactly what Adarsh Pallion and many others found when they went to the airline's website Wednesday afternoon. Air Canada's Western Flight Pass package of 10 one-way flights usually costs eight grand, but was available for just $800. Pallion snapped it up, planning to use the vouchers for work and fun. I was looking at going to New Northwest Territories for the hell of it because, uh, <laughs> because why not? But now he's running into the same problem as other buyers. Despite a confirmation email, I don't see them on my Air Canada website login anymore. Air Canada refused CTV's request for an interview, instead sending an email statement blaming a computer glitch and reading in part, Air Canada is contacting purchasers to apologize and provide a refund. However, any flight pass credit bookings already made using the passes will be honored. But outraged consumers don't want the refund, they want what they paid for, and cite U.S. airlines like Delta that have honored mistaken prices and even free flights during similar glitches. Several irate customers have even tweeted that the airline's terms specify the price is guaranteed. Several hours after Air Canada announced its controversial cancellation of the passes, CTV found the airline's website still promised locked-in prices for flight pass packages. I'm not going to let it sit. He's not alone. Some customers are already threatening legal action. So, Penny, what are the legal options? Are there any here? Well, definitely taking the airline to small claims court is probably the easiest and most effective legal option, but there's never a guarantee. Public pressure and bad publicity are usually way more effective in pressuring companies to honor their promises, but even if Air Canada gives in to public pressure, they've already lost the trust and goodwill of a lot of customers, Norma. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, Penny.